Hello everyone, I am Abhishek Gaurisethi. My team members are Ganesh Badisa and Siddhartha Mandati. We are here to present our term project which is text mining on movie reviews from multiple sources. We have made use of SAS's text miner for our analysis. Let's go ahead. The objective of our project is to analyze movie reviews by making use of text mining techniques on data collected from multiple sources. We have discovered categories and associations in each of the sources and compared the results to identify biasness. We have selected the latest Bond movie Skyfall. There will be a lot of spoilers. Please watch out. Collecting movie reviews from multiple sources was a tricky part for us. We had to uh, collect movie reviews from Rotten Tomatoes, IMDb and Twitter. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes and Twitter have an API where we can write a program to interact with the API and get the required information like uh, inf uh, uh, review from the Rotten Tomatoes we can get reviews of a movie from Twitter we can search for a hashtag or uh, any any other search and we can get tweets about that we had we have searched for uh, have a uh, hashtag skyfall where we can get uh, tweets about the movie skyfall and from rotten tomatoes we have got the all the uh, user reviews for the skyfall movie uh, getting that uh, imdb we had to collect the uh, reviews manually uh, because that doesn't have an api to interact with the uh, from a pro using a program uh, from the down below links we you can see the links to, uh, where it will redirect to uh, documentation about the api where uh, it, it will display how we can get information from that api and uh, we how we can parse that if we follow these links it will display us uh, for example from rotten for rotten tomatoes it will display all the um, uh, movie uh, movie information how we can get it how we can interact with the api how we can get required information if you see the all the all the re returned information is in json format json format is widely used by uh, many applications these days uh, it's a trending uh, format that is an alternative for xml uh, all the information uh, is in text format where we can write a program to parse the text and uh, get the required information we wrote a uh, sas macro to uh, do that job for a given movie it will go collect the reviews for that movie and parse the data and uh, put it into a data set and uh, for twitter we wrote a java program which go get uh, required tweets and uh, get the required information into a csv file JSON is uh, JavaScript object notation, which is being widely used as we discussed. It, uh, it uh, su uh, supplies the values uh, uh, information in the form of JSON object and JSON array, where JSON object represents an object and uh, JSON array represents a collection of uh, values. Uh, we can uh, relate it to the uh, conventional programming with uh, object and array if you follow the link json.org it will uh, it will uh, display all the information about how json format we can represent information in json format there is a package available called org.json uh, using which we wrote a program in java and uh, to collect the information that are in json format we have collected uh, reviews from Rotten Tomatoes uh, using the SAS macro. We got 276 reviews for the movie Skyfall. For uh, Twitter, we set for uh, hashtag Skyfall. We got around 349 tweets about the Skyfall with having hashtag. And from IMDb, we have collected around 150 reviews about the Skyfall movie. The process of text mining involves parsing, filtering, and categorizing. We would like to analyze the associations between the terms and the topics discussed in the corpus. We have analyzed each source at a time. Text parsing gathers statistical data about term occurrences in the number of documents and total number of times in the corpus. Each term is counted for occurrences. Filtering the data is important to remove trivial terms like prepositions and also check for spelling mistakes. SAS SAS's Enterprise Miner provides associations at the stage of text filtering. Next stage is to categorize the documents based on occurrences of the terms in the corpus. This gives an analyst ease of reading through a lot of documents on a topical basis 
we chose to form 10 topics from each source. We have considered IMDB data for explanation. The results from other sources will be discussed later. At the stage of text parsing, each term's occurrences is counted on the whole corpus and also at the document level. The first 15 occurrences are displayed here. Text filtering removes words based on weights of each term and a stop list created. Exploring the associations in the corpus, we can see that when the Skyfall movie is discussed, the cinematography of Deakin is also discussed and the music of movie is being appreciated. We can see some other associations by exploring other terms listed here. We have categorized the corpus into 10 topics. Uh, the topics range from talking about director Sam Mendes, MI6 and about the villain character Silva. There are a lot of uh, other topics which are being discussed here. Uh, the direction of Sam Mendes is being discussed. And then uh, there are uh, good scenes from the movie which are being discussed and also a fight scene in a tunnel and a house. You can even notice that James Bond and Batman are being uh, discussed along with Ian Fleming. Here are the results from the analysis on Twitter data. There has been a lot of talk about the Komodo dragon from the movie. As we can see, uh, people have described the Komodo dragon and they say that they hate it and uh, with nightmares and a big lizard, they're describing the Komodo dragon. And there have also been a lot of tweeting about music videos by on YouTube by Adele. And there is also a cover video uh, of Adele's uh, music uh, by Corey Gray, which is also being discussed on YouTube, on Twitter. If you look at the categories, we can see that uh, the Komodo dragon uh, is being discussed. And then uh, Julie Dame's line about not, uh, not caring is being discussed. Then the music video. Uh, there are topics of, about the music video on YouTube from Corey Gray as well as uh, uh, Adele and uh, it seems Corey Gray has made a cover of Adele. Uh, then uh, Xavier Bardem's villain character has been uh, described as, as being a brilliant portrayal. Uh, the lines from the song, Adele's song, uh, which are uh, Skyfall, Crumble, Face, Tall, Stand. Uh, these are the lines from, this, uh, from Adele's song. So, uh, also, this is being compared with Breaking Dawn, Lincoln, and Twilight, which uh, which which released over the weekend. When we when we looked at those tweets, uh, they were talking about the weekend gross um, uh, gross profits. Looking at the results from Rotten Tomatoes, we can see that the same Skyfall is being uh, described as smart, emotional, uh, good bond film, and the franchise history is being talked about. Uh, they say that it's a big action franchise and it is the latest entry into the franchise and then uh, people are uh, people are uh, describing the movie to be terrific with uh, some in with intelligence and they're even talking about bonds martini we can even explore different terms and find out similar patterns and associations from the corpus Looking at the results from Rotten Tomatoes, there is a, uh, there are some different discussions going on here. Uh, there, uh, there, um, there, people are appreciating Daniel Craig's role uh, as Bond, and then uh, they are even uh, comparing uh, Skyfall with Quantum of Solace and Casino Royale, the other Bond movies. Uh, as we see in Twitter, they were talking about the Komodo Dragon, but uh, and uh, Adele's song, uh, which is not the case here. From our project, we can conclude that text mining is an effective way of understanding unstructured data. By making use of multiple sources, we get different views and broader insights about a topic. Also, uh, these techniques can be used on new products to understand the reviews, customer grievances, different selling points and issues. Since we consider multiple sources, views of a wide range of users can be analyzed. Thank you for your time.